everybody, it is me, Janita Stanley again. Today we are going to review the book, What Was the Age of the Dinosaurs? This book was written by Megan Stein, and this book was illustrated by Gregory Copeland. This book has 11 chapters, including the timeline of the Age of the Dinosaurs, 2 million years before it, and the timeline of the world. This contains some other books we can read, and this has 11 chapters, gives information about dinosaurs too. In the 17th century, a dinosaur fossil was discovered, but no one knows the true person who discovered it. They thought it belonged to some huge man such as Goliath, whose story is told in the Bible with the battle with David. In the 19th century, not a paleontologist, but a gynecologist who delivers babies found some fossils along the coast of England. That gynecologist's name was Gideon Mantle, and he discovered some teeth. And then finally, he discovered something very exciting. He named it a guanodon, and it is ten times bigger than the average iguana. When the age of the dinosaurs began, everything was not just the seven continents we know today, but one super-sized continent called Pangaea. There were, there were three time periods in the Mesozoic era, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. The first animals came in the Triassic period, which was 230 million years ago, lasted 165 million years, and then ended 65 million years ago. In the end of the Triassic, when the Jurassic world was about to begin, this is what happened to Pangaea. In the Jurassic period, there were some lush rainforests and then some animals such as the Brachiosaurus had to had long necks so it could eat food. It ate about 260 pounds of food each day. That's about four times my weight. Can you imagine how much poop it made? The T-Rex did not appear in the Jurassic, but it happened after the Jurassic in the time period where the T-Rex lived called the Cretaceous. It is very hard for most people to say, no wonder Hollywood didn't use it. Dinosaurs are reptiles. They lay eggs and the babies come out like an iguana or a python. And they're all different shapes and sizes. Some are white too. They're both, eggs are sometimes different colors. Some are big. Some are small. Some are medium, like in between. Some are football-like. Some are baseball-like. Some ha are having bumps and ridges on the side. Some are laid on the ground. Some are laid in nests. Some are laid in a flower position. Some eggs are laid kind of messy, too, in the nest. Do you know how the dinosaurs got wiped out of the earth? There was this huge crater, which is a dish-like hole in the ground in Mexico that came 65 million years ago when this happened. A, an asteroid crashed into the earth. And when the asteroid crashed into the earth, a blanket of hot air surrounded the earth in less than an hour. The hot air caused forest fires, and half of the Earth's forests were burned out. Some animals that were in the forest gone wiped out with the forest fires, and they laid in ash. The dead animals laid in ash. Then some got drowned by tsunamis that knocked them over when earthquakes came everywhere. And volcanoes erupted like crazy. This event killed all the prehistoric dinosaurs, but are dinosaurs really extinct? Did you know that?
Birds and dinosaurs evolved from the same ancestors, so birds are dinosaurs. Did you know that both birds and dinosaurs have hollow bones? Look at them. The dinosaur bone and the bird bone are have hollow spots in them. Everybody go and read this book to learn more about the age of the dinosaurs and something called the great dying in this book which is something that happened two million years before the dinosaurs.